Hello everybody, this is I, Legionnaire 3755 here, and we are doing another commentary video on Ascension Evil VRCTF. This is a custom game type I made where you spawn with a primary Evo um, Bandit and a BR Secondary. I apologize for having no content for a month in my channel because I've been going through a lot of big transitions in my life, but now things are settling down again and I'm getting my hardware is working great, so back to recording it is and content it is. Here we go. I am the really cool looking ninja. I love the new customization features now that they have cross core shoulders and the new unlocked skins. It's not true cross core yet, but it's closer than we had before. Spawning top mid. Controlling with bandit. Putting shots on station. Get cleaned up. You don't want to be top mid in the Halo 2 version of Ascension or in Halo Infinite for too long in this map because you will be cleaned up very quick. You want to get to the edges by snipe or by, well, there's two snipe powers. If you control balcony and you control the other as one sniper, that's where our flag is and they're pulling it and I'm trying to stop their rushing the flag. So he manages to dodge some of my bandit shots, but I clean up the battle rifle, reload my bandit, and I'm trolling bottom mid as we are pushing our flag on balcony and I'm throwing grenades top mid. They are trying to push me off their base so I get cleaned up, but I take the shield out and cleaned up. Very nice clean up there, and then I am testing my 6700 XT's recording capabilities today, and I'm very pleased to say AMD's drivers are getting a lot better. This is vastly superior to the last time I did performance testing on this th um, recordings with different hardware that in fact had more VRAM. I'm actually getting my 7900 XTX prepared and tossed in a micro center next weekend, which is going to be so much fun for like me. So I can du double my already very good performance to legendary levels to give you the best content possible. I need 24 gigabytes of VRAM, so I'm going to get that card repaired for you guys next weekend. So this channel is about to blow up, all right? This is this rest of this year. There's not going to be a month of no content. I'm going to be delivering the best gaming content. This channel is about to pop. So stay tuned for the best Halo. Of course, Halo, first and foremost. I know I've made a video saying I was thinking about abandoning Infinite and abandoning Halo for content for video games, but this game recently with the latest patch 343, like remove the desync, like the desync is not in this game. It is so clean. It is so crisp. This is the best thing they have done for this game. I'm sorry, but it's so easy to hate on Halo. It's so easy to say, oh yeah, Halo's fucked up. Halo's responsible for bad game. No, like I understand, but after 10 years of nothing but bad decisions for 343, to see them do infinite justice and get rid of desync is a huge credit to this company. And they deserve at least one more Halo game to prove they have the, what it takes to go the distance to become the next Bungie. Because the original Bungie's dead. That Bungie is now a soulless, hideous, disgusting abomination. 343, you can hate it as much as you want. They are the last hope we have to bring that kind of bungee back to an FPS game developer. Because unless id suddenly decides they want to develop Halo, and man, that would be amazing if they did. Let's face it, like, if they wanted to make a Halo game, even if I was 343 and wanted to make my own Halo games from now on, I'd sell them the rights to it, man. It's do eternal. You're not going to have a bad Halo with id software at the helm if 343 can make such a great improvement to Halo Infinite this year. This game is kicking ass right now. Season 5 isn't just good, it is legendary. Do you know how many millions of players would be playing Halo Infinite if it was like this day one? You would have taken over the planet. You would have made several billion dollars in your first month. That's how amazing this, this season is. If it had been like this day one, you fucked up. Because if it had been like this day one, you would have destroyed Call of Duty. Halo would have been king once again. But no, Halo is very far from a king. Halo is on its last legs. And I love Infinite. Best it's ever been right now. But if you fuck up the next Halo game, I, it's over. Sorry, but... All the content of Halo in the world and love of this franchise I will hold to the day I die will not save it if you manage on Unreal Engine 5, mind you, no less, to fuck up the next Halo game. 
This game is way better than Halo 4 and 5. 10,000 percent a 10 and a 10 compared to those games. On its own merits, at least it's 8.5. I gave it a double S, I would probably keep it to S to double S as a game. But it launched was an F, and it is still in many ways a completely unacceptable and F tier experience. There's still no elites, there's still no effective cross core. You're still paying for certain items that are vaulted. Now they unvaulted a lot of those items. Good job, 343. Unvault all of them now. We want real cross core in this game. Every coding you buy, every core by default. That is what this game needs to be. You know what's more important than that though? Port, Halo Infinite, and Halo 1, 2, Halo 3, everything in the Master Chief Collection into Unreal Engine 5. Seriously, port all of them into Unreal Engine 5. That will save Halo permanently. Imagine Master Chief Collection in Unreal Engine 5 with updated visuals for 4 and 8K and never ending new content. And Halo Infinite with never ending new content, all upscaled to 8K, 4K, but it's an Unreal Engine 5 and has all of its new technology and features on top of what we already have in the game. Are you really telling me after you wasted $500 million to make slip space, you can't just admit that you've made a mistake and just pour all of the infinite assets into the next Halo game in Unreal Engine 5? Because that will ensure this game is better. If you build and iterate off infinite, what you've done right, you've done a lot right with infinite. It's poor gameplay, 10 out of 10. Angry Joe said it. Infinite's gameplay is a literal 10 out of 10. I love the gameplay better than most FPSs on the market today. It still failed because the content delivery and live service wasn't enough to sustain against the juggernauts of Fortnite and Call of Duty. And a lot of other franchises that are no longer scrappers against Halo. Halo has to evolve with them. Halo was the evolution of the game for the first four entries in the series. Then Bungie left and 343 has not once really come close to that level. But at this moment with Infinite, it's really starting to pop. It's really starting to become the proper sequel to Halo 3 I always dreamed of having to play. It's finally getting the content I actually want for a proper sequel to that game. Where are the weapons, man? Give me some weapons already, 343. Where is... We need weapons way more than infinite. We need a carbine, we need a beam rifle, we need a Spartan laser. Where's the Spartan laser? I love the skewer, it's legendary, but I want to wield a skewer in one hand and a Spartan laser in another hand. You know what I'm saying? Well, that needs to be in this game. Put the Spartan Laser in the game. At least the Spartan Laser. And I like the Banished Shotgun idea. That looked nice. This, don't kill support for this game anymore until you tell us what the next game in its entirety, single and multiplayer, will be with a definitive and clear no bullshit roadmap like the last one where you basically promise a year of drip feeding content and consistently poor expect like that cannot be 343 Industries anymore, okay? Pierre Hines is doing great, okay? This is a great update, this is great content. The D-Sync fix is the best thing ever. Stay tuned for more content in Halo Infinite. It's definitely coming.